There are several videos here on the channel about the Apple Watch Ultra and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. And if you regularly check out my content, you know that I've been thinking about replacing the Apple Watch Ultra 2 with the Series 9 for a while now, because I started thinking that it was too big for me, not flattering. And yes, I did love its battery life and durability, but that wasn't enough for me to keep it. Also, not to mention the price. It's a lot more expensive than the other series. So yes, I sold it and bought the Series 9 instead. And guess what? I'm super happy with this decision and here's why. Set App is an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use my affiliate link listed down below in the description. Size, weight, and design could be obvious, but that was what was bothering me the most while wearing the Apple Watch Ultra. I simply don't think the Ultra's design is for everyone. I've talked about this in my five month review video. Feel free to share your thoughts about this in the comments below. Your experiences can be valuable for other users making a purchase decision. So feel free to share what you think. But I've been so happy with the design and size of the Series 9. So I purchased the aluminum silver Apple Watch Series 9 in the 45 millimeter size, which is simply perfect for me. The screen is large enough to add several complications and at the same time is very lightweight and comfortable, especially compared to the Apple Watch Ultra. I often forget that I'm wearing it and obviously the 41 millimeter option is also available for those who prefer smaller watches or have a smaller wrist, but for me, 45 millimeters is perfect. I feel like this color goes well with anything. I love how simple it is. For some reason, I've never really considered the silver version, but I'm really happy I did this time. This watch band is the sport band in clay, which matches my clay silicone case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've been really into great lately for some reason. And for those of you who want to know which watch face I'm using, this is called palette and I'm using the silver option. You can choose from a lot of different colors. As for complications on the top left, I have temperature on the top, right? I have today's state on the bottom left. I have battery and on the bottom right, I have the rings because Apple Watch users out there, I think you know how I feel. We need to be <laughs> constantly keeping up with our rings, right? Now, something important for me to share, I don't miss any special features from the Ultra. For me, my routine, the Series 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 is perfect, is enough. I love using the fitness tracking feature receiving my notifications on the Apple Watch, setting up timers, setting up my morning alarm, and none of these features are exclusive to the Ultra. And I know battery life is not the best on the Series 9 or the Series 8, 7, 6, but it simply works. The only thing you need to do is find a charging routine that works for you. What I do is I put it to charge whenever I take a shower, usually in the morning and at night before going to bed. And something nice is that it offers fast charging and it quickly reaches 100%. Also, yes, the screen scratches very easily, especially compared to the Ultra. And this is something that I didn't need to worry about with the Ultra, of course. And I know I could have bought the stainless steel version. Some of you will want to comment that in the comments because it does have the sapphire crystal display, but I simply didn't want to invest that much in a Series 9 model. So I chose to buy the more affordable option, knowing that scratches could be a problem in the future, but I'm okay with this at the moment. I stopped thinking about it. I'm just going to wear it and that's it. But if you think that's something that would bother you, make sure to go for the stainless steel version or the Apple Watch Ultra. But that's something important that I want to share with you. Don't fall for the buy the best one there is gimmick. You have to buy whatever works for you and whatever you need. And for me, the Ultra is simply not necessary. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and get this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.